as we saw in that last example, it was kind of an unusual function. So let's just kind of look at all the different possibilities for terms where we have both an exponent and a base term. So we're going to look at kind of just all the different possibilities here. And for this discussion, b and n are constants. And so the, the first possibility, if we have a kind of a, a term that looks like an exponential, there's a base term and an exponent, they could all just be constants. And so if, if everything is constant, well, then the derivative is just zero. So even if it looks like, if this was like three squared, everything's a constant, derivative of a constant, no matter how fancy it's written, is zero. Um, the next thing we've seen is where the base term is a variable, but the exponent is a constant. So in this first one, everything was a constant. The base term was a constant and the exponent was a constant. So if everything's constant, derivative is zero. Now, if the base term has some x's, has some variables in it, and our exponent is just a constant, well, we know how to differentiate that. That's just the general power rule. So we bring down the exponent, keep what we have inside the same, subtract one, and then we multiply by the derivative of our inner function. Really, this is just also chain rule. Um, another possibility for this kind of exponent and, and base discussion is if the base term is a constant, but the exponents are variables. So if we have a, an exponential function, this is an exponential function, the base term is just a constant, and then we have variables in the exponent. And we saw how to differentiate this. We had our general exponential rule, which for general base b would be b raised to the power u of x times natural log b. That's the derivative of our outer exponential function and then times the derivative of the terms in the exponent. So both of these are just a special case of the chain rule here. Now, where this becomes, well, in the example we just looked at, the issue was the base, the base of our expression had variables in it, and the exponent had variables in it as well. So that was probably the first function we've looked at where this is true. Both the base and the exponent are variables. So it was a function of x being raised to another function of x. And there's no nice formula for what that derivative is. We have to use logarithmic differentiation in order to calculate it. So we don't have a nice little general power rule here or general exponential rule that allows us to, to kind of quickly calculate that. Um, we're, we need to use the technique of logarithmic differentiation. And I'm sure you probably actually could Maybe, maybe it might be a fun thing to try. You probably could come up with a formula, um, but it's probably easier just to do logarithmic differentiation rather than try to memorize a complicated formula for a very special case. Um, so that's what's going on in that last example. It's kind of an unusual function where both the base term and the exponent term are variables. We've seen these types of things before, but never to that extent. So we've seen base exponent terms where the only the exponent had variables, or we've seen the case where only the base term had variables, or and we've also seen the case where everything's just a constant. Um, but that last one was truly unique because our, both the base and the exponent had variables in it. So if we see that, logarithmic differentiation is the te technique we need to use. All right, so that's going to take care of this lesson for logarithmic differentiation and using multiple derivative rules. 
And what we're going to see next in our next lesson is we're going to see an, an application. So we've, we've developed all these different differentiation techniques. And now we're at the point where we can actually start doing things with our derivative. So we're going to start looking at some applications of derivatives. And we're going to, we're going to see that next. So we'll see you there. Bye-bye.